Today's MyoLift mini tutorial is going to walk you through the entire routine of using it in the neck area. And I wanted you guys to have one place, one video that you can come watch so that you can follow along and do all of the exercises with me. And I'm going to have two parts to the video. The first part is going to be using the erase mode, which is the mode you're using to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. And then educate is the second mode. And that's what we'll use to lift and hold our skin and to build up ATP in the muscles and to help get that lift that you're looking for. So before you get started with microcurrent, you want to make sure that you have a clean, dry face. You're going to be applying the conductivity gel. And what I like to do is take some of the gel and I like to just put it in a little bowl and apply it with a brush. The gel does tend to dry out over time. So I like to just put some in the bowl and then I can brush it on in the areas I'm treating. And then as you're following along with the device, it might start blinking because you're losing conductivity, usually around the forehead area because the skin is really thin here and also on your neck area it can be tough to get conductivity so I'll often try just adding a little bit more gel to get the conductivity back so it's just good to have some in a bowl ready to go now if you have any lines around your neck area like tech neck I'm sure like I can see in the mirror I have like some fine lines coming in here you can do the erase mode wherever there's a wrinkle you can you want to just pull it apart you're stretching the skin to lengthen the muscle just spread it apart lengthen the muscle and spread apart that wrinkle and smooth out those wrinkles and fine lines now the neck area is really thin so you might find that you need to lower the intensity to get conductivity um, that does happen keep watching the the device to see if you're getting conductivity and and also about your neck never do your throat area your thyroid is around here and you don't want to mess with that so treat your neck wrinkles but don't go directly on the throat you can go everywhere else around when where there's wrinkles don't use a device over your throat next we're going to move on to the educate setting and this is the setting that we're using to lift and hold our muscles to strengthen the muscles in our face it's like going to the gym over time your muscles are going to get stronger and be able to hold that lift we're going to work on the neck area and for the neck area we're going to do level one educate which has intensity of 175 and the neck has thinner skin like i talked about earlier so it's usually a little harder to get conductivity when the intensity is high so we're going to do intensity level one 175 and see how it goes um, usually it's not a problem I'm going to put some gel here all over my neck. And again, make sure when you're working with the neck area, you don't run the probes over your throat because this is where your thyroid is and you don't want to mess with that. Okay. So I'm going to start here with holding one probe here underneath my jaw here. And I'm going to take the other probe and I'm going to just scoop it up to meet it three times and when I get to the top I'm gonna hold it for three seconds one two three scoop and hold one two three scoop and hold one two three and I am checking to make sure that I have conductivity the whole time because the neck can be a little bit tricky because the skin is so thin and I don't have a lot of um, skin here to pinch on my neck but if you do that's great make sure that you are like lifting and pinching it here because that's how this device works it pinches and holds the muscle to build ATP to train those muscles to stay lifted over time I just don't have as much to pinch but I'm still getting the benefits of the device and then you move over to the next section here with one probe under the jaw and then I'm pushing up one push and hold two, three, scoop up and hold one, two, three up and I lost conductivity. So I'm going to try putting a little bit more gel here. Okay. Let's try it again. One, two. Yep. It's back Two, three, one, two, three. And then finally I'm going to do right here next to the throat where I'm not going to go over the throat, but right next to it, I'm going to push and hold one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, then I'm going to move over to the other side here. Starting here under the jaw, out by the ear area, and I'm going to push and hold the probe up. One, 
two, three. Do it three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then move over to the next section here. Push and hold. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to add a little bit more gel. The last section here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, the next exercise is going to be the other way on the neck. So I'm going to place one probe here, um, just below my ear here, and then I'm going to start the other probe here next to my throat. I don't want to put the probes anywhere on my throat. I'm holding the one here, and I'm scooping, and I'm holding. I'm pinching. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I move down to the next section here, pushing one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then finally the lower section of the neck here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that work was done to tighten the neck muscles, to tighten the neck area. So then we move over and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we start with one probe here below the ear and then the other one next to the throat and then we push and hold. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then move down to the next section. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And move down to this section here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then finally the last section here, the lower section. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now I don't have much skin here to grab on my neck to tighten it up, but if you do, that's great. It's probably gonna be a lot easier for you to pinch and hold in these areas. I definitely wanted to show you how to do it. So that's it, those are all the exercises that I have to show you today. Um, when you're all done with the device, you can just push the button here to turn it off and then the screen goes dark. And what I like to do generally is to just spray the pros with some rubbing alcohol and then wipe them off with a, um, a, a like with a cloth or a, a tissue or you can even wash them with, with like a cotton round that has some soap and water on it just to make sure that they're clean for the next time that you use it. So that's it for my MyoLift mini tutorial video today. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video because I do upload a new video every week. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.